Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and boy do we have a lot to talk about in this one. Um, so you guys know that whenever I do anything with my portfolio, buying, selling, trading, whatever, I share it with you because I want this channel to be my investing journey and I want to bring you along. Um, so I'm making some huge sweeping changes to my investing portfolio. Um, I'm cutting out almost half of the companies and um, I'm doing this, uh, you know, this has been coming for a while and I want to make my uh, portfolio more streamlined and more aggressive and more, more decisive. And I also need to keep up with the times and some of my holdings are just not that relevant anymore and I don't see that much more potential in them, okay? I still really like these companies, they're, they, they're just not going to make it, okay? So um, I'm selling four and I'm replacing them with four new ones and I will make videos on all the companies I'm buying, okay? So the first one to go, almost a bit emotional uh, about this one, is my oldest holding Activision Blizzard. So I bought it back in December 2013. I, I've had a great time with the stock. It's up 400%, I believe. But the company has been very hit and miss lately. So this, if you don't know, is the company who ma that makes uh, World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Overwatch, uh, Diablo. Uh, they also own King Digital. But the company has been very hit and miss and the revenue growth has been quite stagnant. It's only got grown, grown from 4.5 to 8 billion in six years. So that's like 50, not even 15% a year. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, um, they haven't really come up with any new games since 2016. And they're facing ramped up competition from Tencent and Riot Games namely. And the video game space is more competitive than ever. It's getting really crowded and the new types of games are the big social microtransaction games are not really the ones Activision Blizzard makes. They have Call of Duty, but other than that, they have more hardcore niche games that I don't think are gonna do too well. So unfortunately, it has to go. Next up is Microsoft, guys. So I think I like Microsoft. It is a well diversified, huge company uh, with decent dividend growth. They're doing well in cloud, software as a service, gaming, pretty much everything. But I think it's too big. It's too big. It's too diversified. It's bloated. Uh, there's no dividend to speak of. It's, it's down at like I don't know, 0 0.66 or 0 0.7 percent. It takes so much to move the needle for Microsoft and I don't see the stock keeping up with the Amazons and Apples uh, of the big tech companies. And I think there's a lot of big tech companies coming up that are just better, okay? So I like the stock, it's very safe. They are doing well in all the different tech industries. It's just, there's just not enough potential there. I'm, I'm sorry, Microsoft Satya. Next up out is Nextera, but I'm replace, replacing it with Nextera Energy Partners, which is a traded subsidiary of Nextera. So this is a company that buys up uh, renewable energy farms, so mostly solar, solar, wind, and natural gas pipelines. And then they just distribute the revenue, the profit from those renewable energy uh, farms to investors in form in the form of dividend. So this is a 100% clean energy dividend play, and it 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 provides twice as much dividend as Nextera, and almost twice the growth. So Nextera has had about 10% revenue growth annual. Uh, Nextera Energy Partners has had about 20% and it pays uh, almost 3.2% dividend. So th I think this is just a uh, way more attractive investment than Nextera Energy. This will be my only dividend stock and my go-to. So I will funnel as much money as I can into this one as my other growth stocks um, grow, uh, go up and uh, whatever profit I have, I'll put into Nextera energy partners and I'm going to have it in a tax exempt account so I don't have to pay any taxes on my dividend. 
Number four out is MongoDB. So this is a one trick pony. So they just have one piece of software that helps companies utilize cloud computing and, uh, and manage their data. I bought it off a tip from a friend and the same friend is saying that, you, you know what, the big boys are catching up. So Amazon namely, and if Amazon comes out, comes out with some sort of software or solution that can replace MongoDB, um, I think it's game over. And since they only make money from one thing and that one thing goes away, it can I think it can create, um, create havoc for the stock. I'm up about 300% in three years, so I think I'm gonna take my gains and leave. Um, can they keep up the growth? I mean, the revenue growth has been 700% in the last four years, and they're making so much money, and the big boys are watching, and there's, you know, if they, if they don't acquire this company, they're gonna try and crush it. And if there's one thing Amazon does, it's crush smaller companies. So, um, you know, uh, big growth potential, but I'm not, I don't know anything about cloud computing really. This is just a tip from a friend. And if he doesn't believe in it, you know, I'm not gonna stay in the stock myself. So four stocks are out, four stocks are gonna come in. I'm gonna make a video on those. I still like all of these companies, but I don't want a bloated portfolio. And I think one of the good things about my way of investing is I want to stick to a few stocks. So no more than nine, max 10, which makes me think hard about what companies I invest in and cut those that can't make it. And if I'm not willing to commit 10% of my portfolio or so to a company, I'm, I'm cutting it. And for these, they were either too risky and I didn't know enough about them, or they were too boring and I didn't want to risk missing out on potential gains, okay? So four stocks out, four stocks in. I will make one video on each of the new additions, making huge changes to my portfolio and my whole strategy. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what, what trades you're making to get ready for the next coming decade. Hope I see you in my next video. Cheers.